Hey, welcome back. It's your guy, Engineer Mojo, back with another tutorial video. Today, I'm going to be putting together this little bike for my niece. I haven't really shown in the past videos, but I am an avid biker. I have a few bikes behind me that I like to ride. To get it started off fast, tools you'll need are you can do this job with either an adjustable wrench, 15 millimeter socket and socket wrench, or you can use this pedal wrench because it has a 15 millimeter wrench right here. Either of these three tools will work. I'm pretty sure that's all you'll need for this entire bike assembly. If I add anything, I'll be sure to note it down below in the video description. So let's get this bike built right now. I've laid out all the pieces that come in the box. We have the seat, we have the handlebar streamers, we have the handlebar, it also comes with a basket, it's pretty nice. The pedals, those are marked left and right. We have the whole middle bike assembly that comes pre-assembled in the box. The training wheels, and then we have the front tire as well. If you have the space, lay it out like this, it keeps everything in order. I'm starting with the base of the bike, that was already pre-assembled, and the front wheel. I'm taking off the protective cover to the nut and kind of lock washer there. As you see on the lock washer, there's a little inset and that locks right into the front fork of the bike. And that front fork is the blue kind of Y-shaped piece of the bike. I'm taking the bike wrench. I'm loosening the 15 millimeter nut. That's on the other side as well. There's also a lock washer on there. Setting the bike in place, front wheel. Now this front wheel is directional. There are arrows on the wheel that show you the correct direction to put this. Here's a close up of the lock washer and a little hole that that inset should sit right into. That's on both sides of the wheel. You'll see that little hole and lock in there. Showing you a close up of the lock, the nut and the lock washer. Now my niece, she's still small, so she needs the training wheels. In this next step, I'm gonna show you how these go on the back wheel. I'm loosening the 15 millimeter nuts on the back wheel. On each side of the back wheel, there's a metal guide U-shaped and it has a little insert so it only goes in one way. And then it helps position the back training wheels on the back wheel. And it sits right in the groove like such. And that kind of locks the back training wheels in place so they're not moving around a lot. And you can adjust them up or down depending on how well the rider is riding. So in my case, they're all the way down as low as they can go because she needs all the help that she can get. But if you have a more experienced rider, you can jack those training wheels up just a little bit higher on that guide. Next step is to apply the pedals. As I said earlier, they're marked left and right from factory with stickers, which is nice. I'm going to apply a dab of anti-seize lubricant on each thread of the pedals. And that's just to prevent lockup. Just in the future when I want to remove the pedals for whatever reason, it'll be easier to remove. Using anti-seize lubricant on pedal threads is not mandatory, but it is good bike building hat. Securing the wheels on the bike, right side pedal, turn right to tighten it in. Close up of that, get it real tight, real secure. I flip the bike around to do the left side pedal and this one left is to tighten. So remember, if you're on the left side, turn left to tighten the pedal. If you're on the right side, turn right to tighten the pedal. It's a nice, quick, easy way to remember that these pedals are directionally tightened. Install the bike seat is next. To secure the bike seat into the frame, it's really easy. This is a uh, kind of a pinch lock mechanism there. You just position the seat how you want it. Tighten the screw that's on the left. And then once you get the lock almost tight where the seat can go fairly up and down, that's when you go ahead and go ahead and close that lever to go ahead and lock that bike seat into the frame. Next up is the handlebars. Right in front of the handlebar, you'll see a locking bolt. Just wanna loosen that with the wrench that you're using. Feel free to go ahead and discard the bottom plastic cover piece. Here's a close up of the locking mechanism at the bottom of the handlebars. Insert the handlebars with the locking mechanism still loose. Position the handlebars straight with the tire. Once the handlebars are straight, proceed to tightening that bolt back and locking the handlebars in place. Here's a close-up shot of what just happened there. It's locking that top bolt tight. 
As I mentioned earlier, the rear brackets to the training wheels allow adjustment up and down depending on the experience of the rider. I've gotten them to where I want them, which is all the way down. So now I'm going to tighten these up. Almost to the finish line with this bike install. I'm going to put in the streamers. The handlebars on the side have little holes and you just pop those right in. Secure it tight. Same deal for the other side. There's the hole. Just push it right on in there. Wiggle it around a little bit and it'll get nice and flush with the handlebars. Now you can put some air in the tires, front and back. Now we're just about ready to ride. Grab your helmet. Gotta stay safe. And now we're gonna test this thing out. Ride smooth. Whee! That'll complete this video. Thanks for watching. If you have any tips to make this easier, please comment down below for other viewers. Any tips for me? I love hearing how to make stuff a little bit simpler. If you enjoyed the video, please like, please share, please comment. As always, thanks for watching. I'm out.